the archive mm -hmm. collection, which is mainly from the, the house of uh, Venegas Arroyo. It was a publishing house that existed really beginning in 1880. I have here in this collection some of the original engravings, mm -hmm. uh, some of the original woodcuts. Some are copies, some are original. Uh, they're made by Posada, uh, by Mania, Manuel Mania, mm -hmm. and also Juan Gemma and Juan Cortez. And the subject matter covers political and historical, uh, popular themes, uh, crimes, disasters, a lot of religious pieces, mm -hmm. some fabulous religious pieces, uh, and then perhaps the most famous are the, are the Calaveras. The broadsides are kind of interesting, but what aren't truly broadsides are the bulletins. And there were several different publications that Venegas Arroyo put out, but under different names. And also his son, Blas, put out, but under different names. Yeah. These got sent out all over Mexico and to parts of uh, uh, the southern United States. It was not unusual to see these calaveras used to communicate a satire mm -hmm. or a little comic aspect to poke fun a little acidic look at the politicians, at uh, what was going on in the times. You've seen the image of uh, Katrina, uh, the woman with the flowery hat. She's really the, the female dandy, the well-off person in society. And the simple message is, is that no matter who you are, no matter how much money you have, you're going to die. And there's a certain commonality. Death is the great equalizer. It, it unites us all. This is another one, uh, people who are well-dressed, uh, death, and we have a cannon, a sith, knives, swords, even a hypodermic needle, all these symbols of death, mm -hmm. uh, and here's this nice calavera, big giant calavera, seated, resting, not in any big hurry, but giving a very nice message to all these people who are pretty much well-dressed, that... Death is waiting for you right inside here in the in the, the cemetery. Yeah. In the and then let's look at one that I think you'll recognize. Oh wow, there she is. There she is, <laughs> Katrina. If you look at it, it's an acid etching. Mm -hmm. So it was a technique that Posada helped uh, develop um, where he would take a, a pencil with grease and then create a sort of a safe zone and then they would put it in acid, they'd have the illustration uh, and it would be uh, eaten away by nitric acid. What are your hopes when you talk about preserving and sharing? Well part of it is a, an understanding for the connection we have to the heritage of Mexico. Uh, um, part of it's for the Mexican people, part of it's uh, artistic there are a lot of different currents at work here. Um, eventually, I'd like to see the collection uh, contained at a major institution and protected that way. Um, in the meantime, it's my intent to promote it, to continue to educate and increase awareness about the connection of Posada and Mania uh, to the art that's being generated today and the influence that they've had on countless generations uh, from today and going back to the time of their death. It's, it's retrospective, it's introspective, and it's perspective. It's, uh, it's, it's looking to the future. So there's a, there's a lot of things that I'd like to see.